Hello friends, today we're going to have a look at the ICM catalogue 2021 and their new releases. Okay guys, uh, going to go straight into this catalogue. Fortunately, everything is highlighted in red in terms of new releases. So we're going to go as quick as we can in this catalog, show the new stuff that's coming. Also, we will be looking at the website. Stick around for that. It is the best model catalog website you've ever seen, believe me. And you can download this catalog as well. There's a link in the description of the video. So we can see they've got quite extensive catalog. Who are ICM? ICM are Ukrainian model manufacturer. You may well know uh, Mini Art. Uh, ICM have got a different sort of tack. They, they actually um, design their kits to be of uh, you know very good quality, but less parts count. And straight away, here we go. We're starting with the release. This is the new release information. They've got a 132 scale AH 1G Cobra. So the Cobra from Vietnam, the uh, attack helicopter. Uh, brand new kit um, of a modern subject as well. So that's uh, quite welcome news. I think if you're a Cobra fan, obviously. I don't think that this, uh, it may, I don't, I'm not too sure if this has been uh, released previously. 32 scale as opposed to 35th scale. Uh, people like the helicopters in 35th scale, but um, ICM does not disappoint with what else they bring out. We'll go into that. We'll go have a look at the packages that they bring out. So the first thing we look at is 32 scale aircraft and figures. Aircraft and figures are often combined in their catalog. They often have sets that include the pilots with the aircraft. So the first one they've got new, uh, new is the CR-42AS uh, Italian fighter bomber from the Second World War. They already they already had the Falco and the German Luftwaffe version and other versions. So not you know 100% new. It's say a um, another variant of that aircraft. And they've got the uh, they're going to bring out one of the Italian pilots. Uh, that's uh, that release. A new version of the Tiger Moth is coming out. Um, from what I can see, all we're seeing is box art here, by the way. It looks as if this one's got some sort of canopy on it, which I've never seen before on a Tiger Moth. Um, and brand new Tiger Moth, the 82A, so the version that's already out, with RAF cadets. So you get a full assortment of figures, you know, diorama ready. You see that all the time with ICM. Now, I was saying earlier about that Cobra, you're bound to see some pilots and ground crew and everything that comes with it. See what else is new? Uh, we've got a, a Gladiator coming out. Um, Swedish version with skis. So, that uh, might be interesting to some of you guys. Here's all the pilots they do. If you're looking for pilots for um, 32 scale, they have got so many. And new ones that they have coming out are the Italian pilots in the tropical uniform, hence the CR-42 that they bring out. Uh, Axis pilots, German, Italian, Japanese, so an assortment of 32-scale uh, pilots in the cockpit. And allied pilots in the cockpit, British, American, and Soviet. So you get a, a range of, of pilots there sitting inside them. And as I said, here you go. You sort of knew it. The U.S. helicopter pilots, Vietnam War, 32 scale. So you've got them to complement um, the Cobra, pretty obviously. Uh, what else have we got? We've got um, Chinese, um, please forgive my pronunciation, Guomindang Air Force pilots. So uh, I couldn't really tell. I'm World War II era Chinese pilots. Never seen that before. Interesting. Now we're going to 48 scale aircraft. All these aircraft, the Spitfires are, you know, they're inside the catalog, quite well established. Um, they've been about for quite a while, ICM actually. But they're coming, you know, they're, co they're not becoming company. They're getting more and more popular because of what they're bringing out. As we've already seen, some interesting stuff. 
Yeah, they even do the uh, BF 109s. Um, I've always wanted to get the, um, not the Rata, but the, the Chaika, the, the, um, the biplane version. Anyways, I digress. Let's have a look. What is coming out new is a brand new mold. So this is not like a variation of a Gotha GO242 German landing glider. And they're going to bring out two versions, the 242A and B. I have no idea what the difference is. Um, if you're a glider fan, I think you're going to be quite pleased with that. Um, I think if uh, it's sort of interesting, they don't do that on 35th scale, and then you'd be able to complement with the Falschemjäger, but you've got a 48 scale. That would be a brand new kit coming out. Don't know when, but it's coming out. And here, this is going to be very, very welcome news. Um, one that I'm certainly interested in the Bristol Beaufort Mark I World War II British torpedo uh, bomber in 48 scale. Um, I'm very surprised the Airfix didn't do this, but ICM are doing it. So you got the ICM one. I, I like the look of this aircraft, so uh, I think I think that's going to be very popular. Uh, hopefully, do a good job on it. They tend to with the aircraft; they seem to be quite popular. Okay, all this again in 48 scale. They've got lots of pilots, um, ground crew, and they've got these packs that are ready-made dioramas with the, you know, a appropriate accompanying ground personnel. So all these are in the catalogue. You can even get um, the Soviet um, uh, precast uh, concrete, reinforced concrete runway plates. The Junkers 88s are very well covered in this catalogue. They've done like every version basically now. And the um, Dornier 17s and Heinkel 111s. You know, very extensive. And here we go. 100% new molds is a B-26K um, used in the Vietnam War. So I think this one's going to be popular as well. Uh, a Vietnam War area, so I, I bet B-26 has had a long lifespan, you know, late Second World War, Korean War, and Vietnam War. I don't know too much about the B-26K, um, but I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there that do. Let's see what else there is new. They've got the B-26K with Air Force pilots and ground personnel, so you've got like an entire box of personnel to accompany it. And... This this looks really this looks cool. Um, I'm surprised they haven't got this as the you know as a bigger headline. A DB26 BC with a Q2A Fire B drones. So two drones on the pylons. So launching those drones. I don't know much about these drones. There's a few more in the catalog, as we'll see. The O2 is quite recent in their catalog. I nearly bought one. I don't know why I didn't. There's still time, but I think this is absolutely awesome. Again, new molds, and um, this this is I think it's going to be very welcome. The OV 10A Bronco in 48 scale, and an OV 10D Bronco Plus in 48 scale. Yes, you could. Um, I think testers or is it mono testers had this kit in the catalog i don't know what it's like if it's good or bad but this is going to be a state-of-the-art kit you know brand new um 48 scale bronco i'm pretty excited i can see myself getting the uh i can see myself getting the a or the d um i think that's gonna be really really welcome and again they accompanied them with 100 percent new mold u.s pilots and ground personnel for the vietnam war and there's you and there's also the 48 scale United States Army Air Force bomber pilots and ground personnel. So that's 44 to 45 to accompany our um, World War II um, US AAF aircraft. And here they are. These are just coming out now. Here's the Fire B drones. So they've got quite a few in their catalog. Um, Q2A, C, A. I don't know what these drones were. Please forgive me. I don't know if they were targets. To me, they look like targets, but I'm, I'm not too sure. So please forgive me. But um, interesting to see that in the catalog. These aren't, you know, modern day drones. I think they're sort of like from the 50s or 60s. But there we are. So that's uh, interesting. And I think this is going to be welcome. 
Um, very useful to see this. Uh, new molds, brand new set of US aviation armament. And these look like, um, yeah, Vietnam era or later. Uh, you know, you can see the sort of extended fuses on some of those bombs, you know, like Slicks 82s and the retarded bombs. Those look like napalm um, carrot canisters as well. So that's coming out. This looks good. Um, a brand new German torpedo trailer and a British torpedo trailer. No view of the renders. We don't know what's going to be inside there. Um, hopefully with the figures. I think they will. I think they'll be with figures. And uh, the British torpedo trailer, obviously, is going to go with that Beaufort. It's going to accompany that. And you can use the German torpedo trailer with your 111s and 88s, etc. Right, okay. Now we're looking at 72 scale aircraft. Again, quite extensive catalog. These are all earlier releases. They've got, you know, every version of, you know, Chaika, Rata, all these sort of things. Popular, uh, Karkovs. I didn't know they had an SU-2 in the catalog. But uh, they do. So they're pretty, you know, these are well established. Um, been about for quite a while. Let's have a look and see if we can find something new. Keep strolling. Oh, these are in the catalogue. Um, they've covered the um, MiG-25 quite extensively. These are fairly recent. The RBT, RU. Here, here's the new ones. They brought out the PD version, MiG-25. And also a PU. The PU looks pretty cool with that um, second cockpit. So the training version of the MiG-25 looks kind of interesting. And again, just to point it out, you can get these uh, um, airfield plates if you want to make a runway. Brand new is a set of aircraft model stands. Um, our aircraft stands are in great demand. Um, I don't know. I suppose they're compatible with the aircraft. I don't know. But anyways, you've got some stands for your aircraft. Now we're going to look at 1 to 144 aircraft. Very small range, but if you want a tuple of 144, and I have no idea if that kit is good or bad or whatever, um, it's in their catalog. Now we're going to 72 scale vehicles. Established vehicles in their catalog. I don't know. I've never built any of these 72 scale um, ICM. Ground vehicles, much to my uh, shame as well. So I don't know if they're good or bad, but they're, they're there. And I think what's helpful is quite a few of them are, well, like the fuel bowels are obviously compatible as a diorama. Now we've got a 35th scale um, weapon set. What's quite interesting is that they cover a lot of World War I um, equipment. Um, previously, well, even now, I mean, World War I stuff isn't that massively covered. Um, I think Mini Art's got some sets out, but uh, ICM were one of the first ones to sort of bring out these sort of sets. And they've got quite a few figures as well that are, um, you know, difficult to find, like Austro-Hungarian infantry, um, World War I Russian infantry, Belgian infantry, you know, stuff like that that's just Anzac, inf uh, Anzac infantry, 1915 Italian infantry. This is probably where probably the manufacturer you have to come to for your World War One figures in 35th scale. Anyways, let's keep going and see what's new here otherwise. These are all established. There's new. They've got a uh, Zwilling Sokol 36 World War II German anti-aircraft mount. It looks like two MG34s and a twin mount. Um, obviously, that's for a vehicle, as we'll see later on. They've got a new set of US Civil War weapons. So again, 35th scale. I didn't. Re I didn't actually know that that the American Civil War is covered. Um, so is the um, Franco-Prussian War of 1871. I didn't know those figures available in 35th of that, but they're they're in this catalog. Keep going. See what's new. Very extensive set of figures. You know, lots of figures compatible with uh, diorama sets. Here's new um, Soviet Fireman 1980s. Um, that's from the Chernobyl diorama set, uh, which you can see I built that as a diorama. And here is new American fire, tra uh, fire truck crew from the 1910s. So I expect a fire truck from 1910 to be somewhere in the catalog. Um, 
what else is new here these are all established lots of drivers as well if you want to get drivers tank riders as well this is a really good um uh, catalog good variation of figures keep going right here's new uh mm, sort of new anyways they've got the fcm 36 french light tank in german service because i think they brought this out previously uh in french service yeah i think it's quite a recent release um and new is a Marder one on an fcm 36 base first time i've seen this kitted out if you're into these um tank destroyer uh vehicles there you go there's the Marder one and there as i was saying the fcm 36 was already inside the catalog they're going to bring out a new version if you want a diorama which has got the french tank crew so that's uh you know pretty good you get all your figures and your tank in one kit new is a 247 house b so they already got the uh, the house b and now you've got a figure set that goes alongside it uh you see that most of the vehicles covered are um half track or wheeled vehicles in the 35th scale range they've got some unusual vehicles as well like look at this last craft wagon that's you know the um i don't think anybody else has covered that i built one of their vehicles in 35th previously i can't remember which one i built it for a magazine it was quite a long time ago went together very well uh one of the characteristics of icm is um you know a a manageable part count and no photo etch parts as well so uh what is i know there's some new stuff coming up here we are it's pretty good it's a field toilet uh i wonder what, do you think that's just standalone or there's going to be a big queue of people waiting to use it who knows and some rs132 ammunition boxes rs i'm sure that's a designation for rockets um these this is the so this is new soviet six wheel army truck with a shelter so actually this is the kamaz but they call it soviet probably for licensing they don't want to um, have trouble with kamaz in fact the logo's missing but it's the 5350 with the uh, box body on the back that'd be pretty good that i think that's uh, that, that could be quite welcome um the zil 131 is very well covered um in the catalog uh i will be getting this one in the future so spoiler alert there i will be getting the um the like the um slujba i don't know the service uh, version of the uh, zil 131 new they've got a g4 with armament so they've got a g4 previously somewhere and it's got some machine guns on it um that's interesting configuration that isn't it they call this the see here, here's the um type 770 german leaders car well we know whose car that is they've had to change the flags as well that's become an issue now again for um all manufacturers now to lose the um swastika emblem on everything this even affected one of my videos um they got taken down because it had a swastika in it um this is new but it's like a variation so basically it's that um zwilling sockel mount with they've already got the um einheits pkw car but there is a version with um, the machine guns for air defense so that's pretty good this is 100 percent new mold and this is a g7107 it's a chevrolet truck um just as a bit of background this is probably going to be very popular where i live in russia um, little known fact is that everybody knows the t34 is quite well celebrated in russia um, what you guys probably don't know is that studebaker truck is equally as celebrated as one of those you know goroy type vehicles something that you know was so important to them so they brought out the um g7107 and they've got how many versions have they got out now at the moment they've got well this version here a transport version um they've got a version that's going to have the figures the soviet drivers and also we've got two rocket launch versions it's like a bm 1316 
on G seven one zero seven base. Ah, sorry, my my mistake. Okay, you're going to get the rocket launcher version and a rocket launcher version with some crew. I think uh, that should be. You know, I think it's going to be popular here. Could be popular elsewhere as well. I mean, the way they're going. This I think is quite welcome to see Leyland Retriever. This has been announced previously. Um, so I think the first one to come out is the early. No, my mistake. The, the This one, the general service is coming out, and then the early one will follow it. So um, uh, don't ask me the difference. But these sort of flat nosed British trucks, quite iconic, should be popular, you know, as a standalone model, as a diorama. Uh, could be pretty good. Now, here we go. Here's new is a Model T 1914 fire truck with crew. So now we understand that, again, you can buy the vehicle, the vehicle um, with crew, or just the figures. So you've got that. Those options are all available to you there. So they've taken the model, a Model T fire truck, which, um, again, again, is a, you know, interesting, interesting subject, a rare subject that we don't see covered. So... Um, that's 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 popped up on my radar for some reason. I don't know why. I just think it's just so unusual to see a 1914 fire truck. <laughs> just something that's uh, interesting. Here we got. Here's another new release. It's a Lafley V15T French artillery towing vehicle. Um, I've seen this vehicle previously because it's got this, you know, very unusual. Um, anti unditching method of having fixed two wheels at the front. Um, but that's all I know about it. I think it's, yeah, 1938. So we're talking uh, early period Second World War. I don't know anything about it. I think it'd be quite nice if they've got some Soviet artillery, uh, some French artillery piece to um, drag behind it. There it is. If you if you want that for your catalogue, you're going to get another rare beast. I, I don't think that's been produced in plastic previously. Um, they've got an extensive range of these Model T type cars. They brought out nearly every version: civilian, ambulance, World War One, machine gun troops, taxis, all sorts. Um, and again, here's another like one of their bigger announcements. They're bringing out another figure set. Um, Chernobyl 5 extraction but um, I was kind of excited when I saw this picture I thought we we're going to get a Soviet area era boss like after boss but no sadly we're not we're going to get two adults two children and, and luggage yeah that, that's going to be quite cool as a um, you know yeah as, as diorama compliment but could you imagine if we got one of these bosses oh, I would just oh that would be absolutely groundbreaking on 35th scale i would love to see that i see if you're listening who knows maybe maybe it's already up there this is their chernobyl range at the moment as i mentioned i built the um the firefighter diorama set this is chernobyl one um the rubble cleaners has come out the deactivators i wonder if they'll bring out any more vehicles that would be very interesting but the yeah we've got the the evacuated people. Okay, now we're on 24th scale, one twenty fourth scale, and again we've got a lot of Model Ts, all you know, covered inside their catalog. Um, they also do the G four in twenty fourth scale. That could be quite an interesting kit to build, couldn't it? The very first motor vehicle ever is um, rendered one twenty fourth. Okay, now we're going to go on 20... There's a few 24-scale figures. There's two of them, which just don't seem to fit in anywhere, do they? The SEAL Team Fighter and the SEAL Team Fighter 2. Where's... Maybe they meant to go on the uh, Benz Motor Wagon. Okay, I digress. Right, 116th scale figures in plastic. Um, quite a lot of these commemorative-type figures. I think they've got a new one. They've got a British Policeman, brand new. Um, that's recent release, the Polish uh, Regiment Representative Officer. And also they've got a British Marine and Ceremonials here. So that's brand new. And then um, they've got these, like, uh, sorry, I don't know the genre here is. White, Night King, Great Other, Mythology of some sort. And some Roman figures, Gladiator. 
one three fifty scale ships. Um, again, another manufacturer that hasn't brought out any new ships. I think um, a bit sad for uh, ship fans out there. You know, model ship fans. There's no submarines in one forty fourth either. Nothing new there. Uh, okay, now here's these. Uh, th I was going to mention this before. Some bigger packs, so you're going to get these really quite extensive sets of a. In this case, you've got a BF 109, a HS 126, German Luftwaffe pilots, and ground personnel. So two aircraft and seven figures. In this set, you're going to get two Spitfires and seven figures. Now, obviously, you need to add all this up and there must be some discount in it because there's going to save on the boxing on the instructions etc so interesting i suppose and here's the this is going to be the ambitious one you're going to get the o2a uh cessna you can get the ov10a bronco and you're going to get five figures so that's going to be a big set that one of brand new so that's everything inside that box is brand new well except for the OVA-10, uh, the O2A, that's already been released. But that's, that's a big set of um, figures. These are the diorama sets in 35th. Everything here can be bought individually in the catalogue, remember that. Um, this is a big set. <laughs> You're going to get, uh, this is massive actually. Um, you got the W026, a W two eight and a retriever, three three vehicles, and then Red Army uh, rocket artillery, which is again two vehicles, include the rocket launcher and uh, drivers and rocket artillerymen. Then you can get three of these um, light KFZ one vehicles in one box. They do a range of. Decals, these are 48 scale and 32 scale as well. And that's the end of the catalogue. Bear with me, we're going to have a look at the website. It's worth looking at, it is awesome. So let's continue with that right now. Okay, we're at the ICM website. Link in the description again. I think this is absolutely excellent. I wish there were more websites like this. Here's the home page, it's showing off some bits and pieces. Uh, on the left tab here is some information. So if we go to news, here we see, first of all, the news was that the catalog 2021 was available and we can see what's up and coming. Immediately there's a page here that shows us like basically up and comings. And we know that these are, you know, the next uh, branch that are coming out. We can have a look which January releases have just come out as well. So there they are. There's all the boxes and bits and pieces like that. We've got a calendar as well. That tells us when we're going to see some of these things. So we've got some information. We've got up to June. We've got the first six months of the year. We've got the... Uh, US aviation armament set coming out in February we got all these releases coming out sadly it looks like we have to wait a little, little longer for the OV uh, the OV 10s the Bronco the Broncos to come out but they might slip them in at some point we're not too sure so you can just see that very easily also you can readily find out which one of the older kits are, if that, that might be of interest to you. Okay, now let's go to the catalogue. And I think this is just superb, the way everything's just laid out here. First of all, here's all kits, but if we're only interested in aviation, we can click aviation. If we're only interested in figures, click figures. Vehicles, ships, sets, decals, etc. Also, in addition to that, let's take aviation for an example. We can filter here to find out the subject area that we're interested in. At the moment, this is all aviation. But say that I'm only interested in 32 scale. I press 32 scale immediately. That filters to the 32 scale aircraft in the catalog. Also, we can find out which ones are 
available now new in process so is there any new things coming no no new no coming soon on sale well that isn't actually working but that just shows the entire catalog but let's clear that we can also filter to world war ii 32 scale actually all of them come up there uh we can do ussr hasn't found any and so forth so let's do 172 scale let's do ussr and there we are we've got the set as long as that filter works it's pretty easy to find things that's what i'm trying to get at but also i really like the way they present the models here for information wise so let's just click on this one for instance what do we get straight away we get the box arts the first thing that we see and then at the moment we've only got some 3d renders because it's a brand new kit however as a big bonus if we press that we can download the instructions and sort of see what we're letting ourselves in for in terms of the build so we've got a good idea how it builds up you know and that's really useful for anybody who's considering buying some models to have a look at you know what's involved prior to making that purchase i just um there's a few other companies that do that airfix do it zvezda do it um tamia certainly don't uh trumpeteer don't as well but um yeah I, I like i love the websites that do this just that you can download stuff and look at it beforehand i'm gonna show you some other examples of um how they show some of these models like here's the, again this is a render and rather sadly um up to i think two weeks ago you were able to have a look at the 3d models in real time and move around them but they've removed that feature and i think it was because the 3d model could probably be extracted and the competitors could probably take it so they sadly they've um taken that away from us but when they had that 3d thing up there it was amazing I, I wish i'd recorded that for you anyway just as a demonstration i already downloaded this but here is the instructions for the retriever so this model's not out yet but if you're thinking about buying it there we can see the parts there we can see the parts tree um we can see the construction steps we can probably get an idea especially if let's say you're at that sort of intermediate level that you're thinking you know i've never done a truck before and i'm thinking about it and you start looking through these instructions think you know you know what everything's really well laid out uh it doesn't look too difficult i'm gonna have a go at that you know it's just uh what a great feature uh let's have a look at some other examples where you get more detail like one of the uh like an order kit in their catalog so let's go um, again to the catalog. Let's have a look at 32 scale, I think. See if we can find something. Oh no, maybe 48, I don't know. Try and, try and see if we can find something. There we are, here's a good example. So this is the Auto 8 Skymaster. Obviously it's been out. It even tells you, on. here's the information you get. You get some historical information you get the release date that this model came out uh, you get the markings you get the size of the box and also it tells you it's 196 parts you can click on reviews of the build this is fantastic so this o2a o2a skymaster what's it like let's click on the review and have a read um it's it was provided it says here it was provided by icm but regardless you've got an idea of one reviewer's build of this is it was provided to them but regardless you've got that information there like i said we've got 3d renders here here it's a pity you can see the 3d version you've got the box art here and we can see the sprues in real time so this is the actual model kit and in addition here is a built-up model kit so you know obviously you've got a professional to probably do it but regardless that's how the model builds up gosh it, it does look quite good I, i'm surprised i didn't buy it now there's a little diorama scene so just to give you an it's just to give you a little 
sort of show you how good that website is. And I, I really love it. I wish more would do it. I think this is absolutely the, one of the best websites I've ever seen for, for models. Anyways, that concludes um, the ICM up and comings. What are you excited about? Um, has anything really taken your fancy? I think there's some interesting releases there. Uh, share your comments and opinions in the, uh, in the comment section. And see you again soon, guys.